What's going on guys? How are we doing today? It's good to see y'all. Check this out. I started to build the center table. So we've started to put the frame up and then we'll keep going from there. Something I realized, I actually got some skills when it comes to wood building. Didn't really know that. I know I got the skills when it comes to the computers and stuff, but wood, never in a million years would I have thought I'd been any kind of good at it. But apparently I'm not too bad since I built all this. Look, check this out. This box came. It's a big box. Hopefully, piece of equipment's in here. Let's open it, shall we? here oh it is not what I thought all right I thought my 3d printer was in here this is not the 3d printer guys this is that case that I talked about it has arrived it's covered in peanuts peanuts Oh shit, it's really in there. Damn it, now I'm gonna have peanuts everywhere. Here's a little piece of knowledge. Here's a little piece of knowledge. This stuff right here is actually safe to eat. It's made out of uh, cornstarch and stuff. But yeah, you can actually eat this and it won't, it won't kill you. Oh my god. Yo. That thing is heavy. Uh, look, the uh, this is where the uh, disk drive goes. It's uh, it's full of peanuts. Get all these out. Good God, dude! I'm gonna be pulling peanuts out of this case for a week. All right, let's see if I can pull it out now. All right, so I. The other day posted a little sh uh, message to you guys saying yay I bought two of these right I actually bought two of them uh, I won both of them I was bidding on both of these cases on eBay and I won the bid on one and then four days later I ended up winning the bid on this one too now, with eBay, if you win a bid and you don't buy it, well, eBay looks at that as you being neglectable. Neglectable. Ne negligible. They see you as being negligible, meaning you're not doing what you said that you would do. So, they make it to where if you don't buy it, you, you can't bid on anything for a while. They lock you out of that. So, I had no choice but to buy it. I mean, it wasn't much. I think the guy won it. A hundred bucks for the whole thing. Dude, this case looks crazy, yo. Check out the fan up top. It has like a, a dust, like a layer all over it. Oh, it must be from that packing foam. Look, we got a fan. That's kind of cool. That fan that's right there. So that fan cools the hard drives that sit there. Yo, this thing is awesome looking. Look underneath of it. Oh, I guess it passed. Anyway, like I was saying, I got two of these, so I could actually, like, put two of them together and have this crazy-looking computer case if I wanted to. Made by Antet. So, let's see here. God, there's still packing chips falling out of this thing. Uh, this right here... Looks like your GPU bracket. That's cool, it's acrylic. So it just sits in there. Get rid of that. Guys, all right, so this is just, really, I was, what is that? What does that do? It's a latch. Ooh, it comes out. Check that out. Oh, that's your power supply. So your power supply gets mounted on this thing right here and then that just slides back in there on that track. 
but right now there's packing peanuts everywhere. So you got like some IO, look there's like a cable management clip right there that somebody put. I like the vents. Dude, this case is cool looking. So if you're wondering, this is plastic, but inside of the plastic is a metal frame. So you have a metal frame and then you have like this plastic that goes over it. Power button. Oh yeah, power button don't feel bad. Could use a little oil. I guess he had a Core i7 in it at one point. Core i7. Molex, baby. I guess that's the the two fans that are Molex together. I want to start it up. Let's see if the fan works. That'd be kind of cool looking, right? Oh, it's an RGB fan. Oh, check that out. That's kind of cool. This is definitely a 90s, early 2000 style RGB fan. That was their idea of RGB, was to put literally one LED light per blade and gives you this kind of effect. This down here is not running this fan but this thing man wow I can yeah I can feel the air volume coming out of that fan from over here so this fan right here really forces some air down on this case but that's not working huh I don't know I'll have to see why that fan is not working Let's turn the lights off real quick. See what it looks like. Boom, it's dark. Now I'm wondering, is there a way to control that? I don't think there is a way of controlling it. Although it definitely needs some RGB though, right? A little more than just that case fan on top. Ooh, pretty. I can't believe how much volume, like, that thing is really moving some air. I bought this air gauge that I can stick behind the fans, and it can tell me how fast the fan's blowing. I bought that. It was like 30 bucks. Whenever that thing gets here, I'd have put it underneath here. I mean, this thing is really blowing some air out of it. I can, no matter where I put my hand on this case, I can feel air coming out of it. That's really cool. Antec. This is called the Skeleton Case. And they made it in two versions. ATX and I think Mini ITX or Mini ATX. I know they made it in two different sizes. This is the ATX side. Good. We need the ATX. I think it's ATX. It looks like I could fit an ATX in there. Pretty cool, right guys? Um, it doesn't look like I could do very much water cooling with this. I mean, maybe I could. I would... I don't know. That would be kind of difficult. Then again, how would you get the motherboard in here and put a CPU cooler in here too? Because you would... Uh, I don't know if you... looks like you could remove this and then slide it in there. But the height of this to that is real low. So you would have to have like a stock CPU cooler or something to go in here. But I tell you what, as much as air as this fan's moving, I don't think it would get cold at all or hot at all. I don't think your system would get hot at all, guys, honestly. And you guys either. I love it when you guys comment, man. This stuff's awesome. I love getting a comment from you guys, man. It's, it's great. It's great getting a comment. Let's see, what's underneath this? Oh, it's an Antec fan in there. And, uh, plenty of this popcorn crap. There's the bottom of the cage. It actually doesn't look too bad. It, I, I expected it to be all scratched up and stuff, but in fact, it's I mean, got a little bit of scratching right there, but. I figured the whole bottom of it would be tore up. This case came all the way from Russia. Russian Federation. Damn, I can feel the air coming out from that fan all the way back here. That's crazy how much air that thing's moving. 
cool. All right, guys. Appreciate you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me what you think of the case below. Okie dokie. All right, cool. So I got that built in. Um, I need to put one more strut going this way. And then I'll think about putting a post right there in the middle to support that from bowing down or anything. Once I put the tabletop on top, the thick piece of wood that goes on top, it'll be very secure. And once I run all of these boards like this to it, um, it really structurally makes it sound. But yeah, one step at a time.